Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to Let's Play a Little Age of Empires 4. This is the latest iteration of this legendary franchise, and for those few of you who don't know what Age of Empires is, it is a real-time strategy game. Uh, you can compare it to something like Command and Conquer, Warcraft, Starcraft, that sort of thing. Um, it is a real-time strategy game with base building and economic systems, which is absolutely 100% my jive. Uh, and it is based in historical settings, so you're not going to see dragons or, or robots or anything like that in this particular game unless there's something there's some sort of easter egg i don't know about uh yeah so i have played age of empires before it's not the rts i played the most those would be the warcrafts and starcrafts but i had played uh probably all three of them in the past but not extensively but i am very excited to be playing with this bad boy i believe it is on steam it's also on the xbox game pass so if you have that uh you can get uh, still more value out of it what i'm going to do today here is i'm just going to go and do a very early campaign in the Norman game here. I'm going to replay this York campaign, which seemed like it was going to be pretty decent and a good way to show off a few things. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, restart the North to York mission here. Uh, I am on the highest difficulty. We do have these really nice little cutscenes that start off. Um, it's real video with a little bit of overlaying put in. It kind of surprised me. Very high production standards. Uh, also a very big download size for this particular game is what it feels like. So yeah, we're replaying the history of uh, William the Conqueror's, well, conquest of, of England here uh, in the second mission. So I've already done the Battle of Hastings. The first mission of the campaign was pretty boring. It was just literally just, you know, select a move, just a bunch of troops basically at, in the Battle of Hastings. There was no base buildings, nothing like that. Um, what I mean, it didn't even have a tutorial feel, for it, so it felt really weird. And the reason I played through this uh, mission already before recording it is I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be boring. And it's not. It's um, So it is fairly early in the campaign. We don't have access to all the goodies, but we should still get a decent sense of some of the mechanics in this game. Uh, visually, very, very impressive. Um, obviously, when you're playing, you know, and you're in the midst of maximum having to click as quickly as possible, you may not have all the opportunity to appreciate what you're seeing, but overall, um, it still helps the aesthetics. Let me go, oh, what was I saying? Avoid that cutscene, but apparently I don't need to. By force. So, we've got these great little scout units that can go around. They've got great vision. They're pretty fast as well. We've got the bulk of our army over here, which I'm just going to assign to a hotkey and move up. We got some de uh, sheep, which we can actually um, herd with our scouts, which is right, quite good. I'm just going to make sure we're not going to get flanked in some weird ways. You can use woods for cover and invisibility. Oh, we ran into an enemy scout here. That's quite interesting. I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to bring everyone together, potentially even the scout. I don't know. I'll leave the scouts aside. Is there a little squishy? And first thing we have to do is take this down. So we do start this particular campaign mission with an army because it is a bit of a story thing. We're going to rush in. If we can get the cavalry to focus on the archers, that would actually be quite handy. Move in, and I'm going to bring everyone in here now. So there's a hotkey to select all your military units, although they do make it... Um, oh, I didn't realize you could steal sheep from each other. That's quite cool. Um, it is the sort of thing that you don't want to do too often when you're playing these games, because generally speaking, you do want to ma manually micromanage all your little stuff. But there we go. All right, so in this campaign mission here, we didn't destroy the town center. We simply uh, captured it, and that gave us some peasants as well. So with our scouts, wherever they might be, can I select the sheep? Oh, thank you, autosave. Oh, that's quite slow. I think normally they follow the scout and they're quite fast when they do that. But I guess you can manually tell the sheep to go there. That's quite interesting. Okay, so we need to start gathering some resources ASAP, including food. Uh, which actually, butchering the sheep might be a fast way to do that. Let me set my peasants on these two fields we've got here. And as the sheep get near, we're going to go ahead and start to do that. Excellent. Okay, so if I go and find my scoots over here, what I'm going to do... Is I'm just going to no, I actually just want to have a key. Just you. You need to drop off your sheep as well. And you over here. So I have a, a scout on two and a scout on one. I'm going to use them to reveal a little bit more of the area. And then I'm going to get my newly created settlers. I'm going to get them to go out here and do some lumbering. 
but I'm going to go and build a lumber camp nearby so they don't have to walk as far to bring the goodies home. All right, scout number one, you've delivered your things. We're going to go look for more sheeps, like that one over there. I'm going to sheep it up. Yeah, keep looking through the fog of war. I assume this might be a scary year. I wonder if we want to move our regular army over here. Kind of like that idea. I'm going to select my troops and tell them to come over here in formation. While my scouts don't really find anything else of interest. I don't know. Alright, town center. Yeah, you need to be continuously producing people, which you are. Town center is also where you build the, the scoots. You want to scoot a boot? Oh, there's the moose sheep over there, which is going to be good. You have uh, maybe run out of stuff to spot. At least for now. We'll see. Okay, um, there are upgrades we can do in these buildings. So forestry, we can spend a little bit of gold to double the speed, which we chop down some trees. And you over here are going to build yourself a mill so that we can do some slightly more efficient farming over here. Okay, you are still building these workers, which is great. We have no military buildings there. We do have a bit of a subquest here, build some farms, uh, get some villagers to chop wood and build some houses. Well, that's all stuff is going to do anyway. Oh, I've got a bunch of... Oh, shoot, I picked up... I guess control A selects everyone, including civilians? That is not what I expected. Okay, we're going to have to be careful about that going forward. Oh, there's some fighting here. King's at the way back. He does have a boost he can activate to um, give all his nearby units a strength boost. And yeah, there are a bunch of sheep over here too who probably also got selected. Okay, I gotta be a little more careful with the control A, clearly. All right, you over here, you are going to herd the sheep to there. And you can see if they're herding actively, they do move very, very fast. And this other scout, I guess we'll send you over here just in case there's anything to spot there, but I suspect there isn't. Okay, we can go and upgrade survival techniques, villagers armor, hunted meat carry capacity goes up. Um, villagers deal bonus damage against wild animals. I don't know if that helps with the sheep herding, but it will help when we get some actual farming going on. But please continue to make some villagers, uh, which is mostly restricted by food limit. We do have a lot of wood, so what I'm going to do with these guys is I'm going to get them to build some farms over here. We could also pick the berries. I assume the farms are better food. Okay, come on, come over here. There we go, do that. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get you and you guys to pick some berries over here. Um, we can also, maybe new villagers we build, we'll just have them go and pick berries until there are no more berries left. Work the field. Work the field. Work the field. Okay. Alright, we've got our additional farms, that's good. I think they're all being worked as well. I don't know if there's like a command to like, have these guys smartly go and work farms that are missing any. We'll build the other two over here, because they're within the radius of the mill. I don't know if the mill actually increases the farming speed or not. Uh, yep, there you go. Farm harvest rate increased 15% while in the influence of the mill. So that's clearly the way to do it. So we'll just go and get this finished up as quickly as possible. There are, of course, hotkeys we can use for these. I don't know what all the hotkeys are. Please engage over here. Use your boost to kill these a little bit faster. Oh, that's a lot of archers. Now, the cavalry is quite good against archers because they can close quickly and prevent them from doing ranged attacks. The uh, spearmen are particularly bad against them because they don't move that fast and they're lightly another armored. Town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William another Hull. town going forward. Okay. We'll pull you guys back. So, okay, we're still building these, which is good. What I might do, just for now, I'm not a fan of uh, static defenses, generally speaking. Because, you know, you can't move and attack with them. But we might save some manpower by building a couple of outpost buildings over here. Let me go and move the rally point here because it does take a while to build these. So I would like to double up. You can't have multiple dudes working on the same thing at the same time, which is nice. Still doing that. We do need to build some military buildings here soon. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of our... Yeah, actually, um, all of our military troops. That should include our scouts, although you do have some sheep, so never mind. Return those first. And you may as well... Actually, there's some sheep to butcher over here. There you go. That's that's what these new ones can, can go and do. We could build another town hall as well so that we can get some uh, more workers a little bit faster, but I think we're okay with this for now. So we've got 12 of them doing meat, 7 of them doing food. Might be time 
Okay, I'm gonna get you up here. You've completed that. Okay, you three. I'm gonna get you to build one more tower, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a barracks and start doing some uh, some training of troops here. Which still needs food. How's our housing limit? Okay, we're good right now. We don't need more houses yet. Oh, we do have the mini quest to build some more, but we don't actually have to rush and do that yet. Uh, no. All troops go. I'm gonna make sure to hotkey this for quicker selection afterwards. Please don't be killing my citizens. And I think the archers can be put in here as well. There we go. And I'm hoping they actually fire from that. It's not just a position of safety. Strict alarm when an enemy approaches, causing nearby units and defensive buildings to fire faster while the alarm is active. Okay. Attacks can be garrisoned. So that all sounds very useful. Come back over here. Although, yeah, we're going to grab some archers and one more archer and throw it in there as well. Okay, so these idlers over here, what we're going to do is we're going to get you to build... We could do palisades and things, but I'm going to build one, two barracks to start off with. And we'll see what goes on after that. All right, you are still building population. Great. You are still going to be mostly butchering things. We can do a little bit of hunting over here. We may do that, although I'm sure the farming feels pretty decent to do. Uh, we've got lots of food, which is good, because as we start making units, we're definitely, definitely going to be looking to, uh, to have a bunch of those. There we go. You're going to come in. We'll start training some spearmen. Um, if we can get some gold, we can make the Vanguard men at arms. They have high armor, but they move slowly. That's with the spearmen, who are anti-cavalry specialists. They are susceptible to light range attacks, and they're weak against armored infantry. But they're not quite as slow, which is good. All right, and then we'll be ready to move out. I might build a couple more barracks over there as well. I'm not sure. Okay, oh, we do have some idlers. That's these guys. So actually, I kind of like that idea. We can do that. And then, yeah, over here. Get making some more spearmen, please. Because we really... Oh, no, we do have some over here. Well, we're going to need some more archers soon, but we need to go up in level before we can do that. Tell you what, you over here... I'm going to get you to just build me another house here. Here, you help out. And then afterwards, we'll do some more of that. A little battles here, but overall, we're okay. I might want to position my archers a little closer to the water here so we can fire across more, uh, a bit more preemptively. I like how, yeah, even our citizens help out in this. Okay, we'll get you. And then just build some more. And then we're going to be pretty good after that to get moving. Um, what do I need to age up, actually? Oh, I need 200 gold to be able to advance the Feudal Age. All right, so I can't do that right now because we don't have access to any gold. I believe when I take the next village is when I'm going to start gaining access to that. Um, but yeah, still lots of food. Oh, some idlers as well. Uh, we are going to run into the housing limit maybe sooner than later. Okay, I'll spam down a couple more houses there. And then, yeah, you guys over here. Go, 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 go. So we're going to build our spearmen as quickly as possible, take the next village. Completed that mini objective. You know what? It's kind of bothering me that I can't build this farm over here. By a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Alright, oh, reinforcements have arrived. Well, that's quite nice. Thank you. Alright. So let's once again select all of our military troops. Get them all over here. Throw them on a hotkey as well. So there are um, F1 through F4 hotkeys as well. F1 selects all your military buildings, which right now we only have the one type with the barracks here. Um, but then you can tab through the different types and order up your different types of uh, units as well. We're going to wait for these guys to uh, get to the front, and then we'll move forward as a group, and that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, we are hitting our building limit. Well, let's... Uh, let's I think we're when we take the town, we will get some housing, so... I don't want to go nuts on building houses here. We do need some more wood. What we might just need to do is get a lumber mill closer by. I'm actually wondering, these guys here, we might get you to build a lumber mill. Right over by these forests. And then when they finish the lumber mill, they do automatically go lumbering, which is good. Uh, I don't know if I need to build more citizens than this. I kind of feel like we might be good now. All right, military troops, let's go. Across the river. I do want you guys to continue to produce, although, yeah, we don't have enough food. Or wood, actually. It's wood that's uh, limiting our spearmen. So clearly we do need to get some more lumbering, but that's good. We've just assigned some new people to do that. All right, we're going to try to take Fulford. 
We probably could have taken it much faster, but it's okay. What's up over here? Oh, I thought it was the star, but no, it's this flag. Okay, a few guards outside. I think we can probably just charge in here. We're gonna have to take down this gate pretty quickly so that we can go deeper inside. Activate the attack speed. Yeah, alright, attack the gate. Go, 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 go. Alright, charge in. Excellent. Okay, this should be fine. I mean, maybe it could be done a little bit cleaner and with, uh, you know, better division of forces for various things. It looks like it's going to be okay. Hopefully we can clip, close on those archers pretty quickly. There you go. That's definitely happening now. And yeah, everyone, your jobs get the middle. I think we'll take the town as long as, uh, see this circle over here? I think as long as we clear everyone out from inside the circle, that's how we capture the town in uh, in this scenario. I don't know if that's how it's going to work in regular skirmishes as well, but so far so good. Oh, all these villagers are done butchering. Okay. With the Fulford rebels eliminated... William was one step closer to your... So hopefully the food production is still okay. What I'm going to go ahead and do is all these idlers... I'm going to send them over to do some wood over here. Actually, I'm going to take some of them. Strong resistance in the city. There we go. Some of them are going to come up over here. Because, yeah, we've got some gold mines and stuff. Oh, you over here as well. Do that. Perfect. So we need to get some gold mining going on. Uh, I'm going to... Oops, not scouts, sorry. I'm going to want a little bit of stone production started for some upgrades and things, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's move out this way. I suspect if we get attacked anywhere, it might be here. We might want to rebuild this palisade as well, and then upgrade this tower. So, your rally point is going to be up over here, please. Okay. Resources are go. Do I still have scouts? No, I think all the scouts died. I could use some horsemen to do it. Have the food and gold to construct a landmark. Actually, I could probably start that now. Construct landmark to advance and then a stable at that point. Shh. Okay. Um, my town centers. Wait, does it only select the one? Doesn't select the other town center? Yeah, you have that. No, it doesn't. Interesting. Okay, we are going to get a few more workers. Because we're going to build more military stuff. We're going to build a landmark, which takes a long time to build. Go, 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 gold. These we need in the new era. Yeah, okay. But, okay, the gold should come in pretty quickly now. We've got a good amount of food. No complaints there. Uh, market here where we can buy anything we might be missing. That is going to be incredibly useful to pick up. Everything else is just houses. Actually, yeah, see, we're at 200 capacity for our housing over here. And yeah, if I want to build this, I do have enough. Uh, produce archers 100% speed or heal nearby units. I'm going to take the Abbey of Kings and place it over here as sort of a forward defensive point. Get some more workers on there. Because then, yeah, if we rally around here, if we pull back to here, we can heal our troops as we go. I think that's going to be all right. Gold vein is going on. We're going to do a few other things. Okay, please to be helping build this as quickly as possible. Thank you. I don't want to get any more workers at this point. Uh, do I want to get some more? Ooh, I can make the Vanguard heavy men at arms. Okay, let's build some of those. That's quite a bit, maybe more than some. But I figure it'll be good to have some. And then, whoops. Close in this way. So some come out of the woods here, okay. Danish raiders. The army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. Tell the Danish raid what we'll do. Rebels had forged an alliance with the Danish king Svein II, whose army would prove a thorn in William's side. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Needs to be constructing. All right, send gold to the Danes or destroy their camp. Well, clearly we're going to want to destroy their camp. We're up, okay. 
Uh, let's get ourselves a blacksmith so we can do some upgrades. Throw you in here. You what, connect up the palisade and then we'll go ahead and make a gate afterwards. I wonder how dangerous this Danish camp is. If we've got enough currently. Oh, what are these? Oh, upgrade. Uh, spearmen to harden spearmen. Sure. Vanguard men at arms to early... Yeah, let's get all the upgrades going on. And then the other thing, too, is... Excellent. We can go and get our troops upgrades this way. We're going to build a gate... See what's going on with the battles over here. All right, we're fine. In fact, it might have been quite good that we caught them outside of their encampment. Yeah, the sooner we can stop these uh, these raids, the better. Same gold tribute to the name. I wonder, like, if I had 1,200, would just light up? I wonder how that works. All right, you're here, which is good. Um, I need some real estate, so maybe over here. The Let's Norman's go and build the source of the Dane threat. One, an outpost two, on the water. Three William archers. Had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it. Or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Burn down this gate. And then move in. Although there are a lot of troops here. Upgrade to harden complete. Good. I guess I could have waited for more of the upgrades to finish before we got this started using some more hotkeys for this later on, but for now, that's going to be okay. How are we doing over here? How are we doing? Oh, you know what I forgot? To use my king's uh, battle boost to increase our attack rates. Let's do that now. Okay. More of those. More archers. That's good. And then all my idlers over here. We're going to build a couple of stables. It's literally required for quest. Please. Focus on burning down one building at a time. Thank you. And here. Oh, more reinforcements. Excellent. All right. And march in if there's anything else left to kill. Oh, gold chest over here. Can just pick that up. Oh yeah! Bunch of free gold! Nice! Reinforcements coming in from behind here. Alright. Well, we'll get them to just move forward with my MIG select all. These guys are pretty injured, but hey, we can heal them up by the chapel. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Okay. Um, what are we gonna need? I think we're probably gonna need food more than anything else to continue this. So... Let's come over here. We'll build a mill with all these. William's we'll set up some farms. Goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter your upgrades. And okay, they're coming in nearly done. You're coming in here. Here, we'll have you collect gold and stone a little faster. Speaking of, actually, there are five of you. Come over here and do the stone, since we don't have any stone production currently. No upgrades to be done there. No. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone's reinforcing over here. We'll get a couple of the strong men at arms, a bunch of spearmen, a bunch of archers, and tons of cavalry. Siege engineering complete. Okay, is that just building damage? Oh, then they go out of pack. Oh, no, I have to pick the berries. Well, that's actually quite cute. But I mean, if some of you get started on the farming stuff. I don't know if everyone's in range of this building. There we go, we'll do a little something like that. Okay, so barracks. Archery range. So yeah, the F1 selects all your military buildings. You can see all over here, and then you can tab by the types. And throw in some things in the queue. So food production is definitely our bottleneck here. The QE. Dot QE. Dot QE. Looking at the idle ones. Good. Uh, ooh, horticulture. And what's the other one? So this is increase a gathering of food by 10%, which sounds good. Increase carrying capacity by 5 and their movement speed of 15. That does sound very useful. Go ahead and build that farm there. Wait. Oh, shit. We're under attack. 
I need some more passive dance, or we may just need to push out more. Oh, and another wave. Oh, it came a little bit split up, but I guess that's good for me. Let's follow up the road and see what it is. So I think the voiceover saying, I think there's a gate there. I think there's another gate here, although we don't have vision of it, but I think that's what uh, is showing on the map. If nothing else, it, controlling that area might be a good choke point for now while we develop everything else. Yeah, breach the city gates. We'll work on it. Build me a farming field. Now, we can spend our gold uh, trading for things as well. Lots of archers. Okay. Oh, okay, they had a watchtower over here. Oh, there's a gold mine available here. Interesting. We have tons of gold, though. I think I am going to go ahead and get maybe another five citizens. Um, with the idea of building some defenses. Yeah, right by these bridges like this. Nice choke points. Although we are about to hit our population cap of 200. Let do a little scoot in the boot here, just to see if there's anything of note. Wheelbarrow completed for capacity. I don't want to move my troops too far away from town right now. I don't want to dive into their town because there are multiple avenues by which they can come in and harass us here. And it would suck to lose some things. Okay, so the idea here is to do that. Okay, we've got tons of idlers. Oh, okay. Some of you finished your harvesting. So we'll get those done, and then let me select all the idols by hitting control period here to do that, and then the army. You know what? I better go and guard over here so we don't lose our citizens while we're building up our defenses. In fact, it might be a good idea to just move our rally point right up over here. And let's get a bunch more archers, because we know we're going to want to... Oh, shoot, okay. So we know we're going to want to load some into uh, these watchtowers after. Speaking of, I think these guys over here can be emptied. Excellent. I think that's all. Just go back. Some more idlers over here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is being worked on. On mass. King William. Let's say when I mouse over. Nearby units do more damage, higher attack speed, heavy armor, strong, countered by spearmen and crossbows. Interesting, this is on alert mode, I guess just because there are enemies nearby. Load some archers in there, and we're going to upgrade you with arrow slits as well. Okay. That should be lots, I would think. Especially with archers inside. And then we'll just verify... Okay, still... Oh, because we're at a population cap. Can I still queue stuff? Oh, good. Because that way, as we lose things, they're going to get built up. Which is... Ouch! What's going on over here? It came from behind! And from front as well. Yeah, let's clear this up and then we'll come down here. Save some of our citizens. Although I'm I'm not totally upset if some of them die here. Because since we are at a population cap, clearing some of these citizens out um, for the purpose of enabling more military might not be a terrible idea. move forward to these gates. But we may as well. There's no risk right now. Especially with their fences. I mean, we'll have to watch for attacks coming from the rear over here. Yeah. 
burn the gate down, and then we can always pull back. Bit of a hit and run. Pull back to here. We've got our defensive structures. Yeah, I like it. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Stage here. Upgrade you. Oh! We're still coming. The towers are engaging here, so that's a good place for us to fight. All right. And you're being upgraded. Now, I'm assuming at some point we're going to run into some trouble here. Okay. Go and blow up some houses here. We might hurt their unit cap by doing this. Might not matter much. But we'll see. more stuff over here. We can make a little hole. Okay, little I mean fairly large. I don't want to get choke point in here as we go and kill some more housing. Uh, and yeah, we are population capped. I mean, I can keep making sure there's stuff in the queue. Lots of citizens over here. How can this up close can't be upgraded? Oh no, it's because it's already been upgraded. Okay, there's a lot of troops here. Let me pull back. Although we are still at our, our unit cap. But I don't like the way at which we're engaging. How much of the problem is that? Okay, they're pulling back now. Can we make some room here? Oh, we can use this as a forward point. Yeah, I think I like the uh, the idea of killing all these, um, these extra defenses. Here we're just going to have to run forward. See if we can catch these guys before they run past again. I guess we can bop the door. Yeah, they have a lot of guys over there. All right, F1. Yeah, Rally Point is now going to be up in here. Okay, smash the door. Now pull back. That's the keep that we've got to destroy. Let's see what else we can do here. Um, you know what? I'm going to empty the archers from here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, still have a lot of guys there. We are still pop capped, which is good. Extra gold mine over here if we wanted, but that's really not a problem. I wonder if I should go and heal up my troops. Now, I don't like that they keep coming over here. Should we go around and just check to see if there's... Maybe there's something else we kind of want to choke point. Oops, no, not you. A few more workers. So we may have to build some more towers. No danger over here right now? Uh, they might be massing for an attack. To be ready to turn around. Okay, there's another bridge over here, which must be where those extra units are coming from. So maybe I just set up a bunch of defenses in this area. Now, if the... Um, like that. Um, if this is too tough of a nut to crack, we can keep going around and plunking away at their town. We might be able to hurt some of their production facilities, and that wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Let's move up over this way. We'll find over there. I don't think I need to work you. In fact, I might still be interested in trimming down the number of um, civilian units I've got. We've got infinite amounts of gold. Food would be the choke point. We can always buy it at the market. I mean, food's still going over here. See, these, um... We have tons of logs, too, and these aren't working very efficiently. Oh, shoot. Okay. It's a bit of a surprise. Do I want to go? Where are they going? I want to go this way. That's what I want to do. But we might... Those guys might be coming to my city afterwards. There's some confusion about where to get. Maybe I should just run through it. Or maybe what I should just do. Just accept action over here. 
All right, let's use our power and see. We've got tons of resources, and we can very quickly just rebuild anyone who's dying. Oh, that's probably where... Those, oh, and these guys too. How many people crossed the bridge over there? I don't like that we're shooting. I don't know if there's like a height advantage in this game. One would certainly imagine that that would be appropriate. Oh, William's gone down, but you can just right click him with some units to heal, and everything's okay. okay charge forward here. It'd be great if we could get our meliers and more of the archers, although. That doesn't seem very good. And our, our unit count is dropping ridiculously quickly. Let's try this again. Archers. Go. Okay. We're gonna get everyone to pull back here. This is not gonna work. We may have to do more damage to the base city itself before we, we try this. Let's go, Lone Archer. Please come over here. How are we doing here? Okay. Let's take a while to build those watchtowers. Yeah, we'll just leave William there. It's fine. He's gonna be okay. Don't worry about him. He's tough. Yeah, okay, this backstab causes some substantial uh, problems. Like that, we'll upgrade you. And just try to hold this bridge. Maybe cut down on some of the backstab stuff. Okay. We have a lot of idlers all of a sudden. I wonder. Oh yeah, the gold mine ran out. But that might be okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to come over here. Build that. And then a bunch more idlers over here. Okay, but that's fine too. Because so you're gonna do this. That's upgrading. We're gonna upgrade this one. We'll do the other one. Don't want anything coming through here, if at all possible. Um, a bunch of these guys are hurt, although not that many. I'm gonna say I could pull back over here, but it's actually not as bad as I'd feared. Let's do a mix of meliers. Get some more archers. A little bit more of that. Okay. All right, we're gonna buy some food. Although really, what I maybe should do is just increase our production more, because that's actually the bottleneck. It's just literally not enough units. We're like not, not not building enough units quickly enough. Well, then we hit the population cap. Yeah, I kind of think maybe we're gonna go around and, and hit more of the buildings. We're gonna go ridiculous with this. Um, oh, we are being attacked over here. They're definitely going to do some damage, too. Okay, we might push through here and see what happens. Especially as we're... This place is being more and more defended. It's still a rally area. I guess things get built pretty fast once we're not at a population cap. Go, 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 go. Let's push through here. We lost all our peasants. It might have to be okay. Meanwhile, we are being attacked here again, which is looking pretty bad, actually. Come on, go, 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 go. Idlers over here. Well, you're probably going to come here and, like, maybe do some repairs or something. What if she built some outposts over here? That's probably too crazy. Lots of idlers. Oh, shit. They're being attacked here again. That is really annoying. Okay, I'm gonna go with plan. Hit the city. I don't 
think the existence of the blacksmith changed anything. I mean, we're probably going to want to burn it down, but mostly what I'm trying to do is just make a little bit of uh, maneuvering space over here for us. So we can hit something that matters. A lot of guys over here, but we also have a lot of defenses going on. Okay, see, this stuff is what I need to kill. Oh, I should have just... Maybe I should have just walked all the way through here and done this. Okay. Get up some more things. Get up more things. Get up more things. So yeah, focus fire that down. Excellent. Okay. So it's going to come back on their production facilities. That's going to be good. Let's burn this down since it's attacking us. And then we'll kill this as well so we have a little bit more freedom of movement. Keep burning all this. Okay. How are we doing over here? We out. Maybe these towers really don't do very much damage. This is possible. Burn down these fields too, just in case. Get you to move. Actually, we move over here. You horsemen, I'm gonna come this way and just scout out this route. Just confirm there's nothing else over here. Meanwhile, there's combat going all over, but hopefully we're gonna be okay. Apparently, I need to buy more food. Archers, go. Okay. How's this coming along? Well, it's still a bit of an issue. But we should be able to close in on these guys now. Although these guys are attacking here. Let's just run you off this way. I'm hoping that what we've done is just dramatically lowered their ability to produce units. Let's get everyone organized over here, please. Losing some of our workers is not a big deal because it freed up some uh, supply, which kind of wanted. Although, maybe what we need are more farmers. Okay, we're not producing gold over here either. We, I don't think we've got anything that can trade, so I might need to go and set up some gold mining over here, actually. Let me get a five group, just to make sure we've got a consistent amount over there. We're going to wait for us to be supply maxed again, and then we'll take another run at this. You guys are over here, which is great. I guess you guys are still doing woodsy things. Which, if we care, I think we will go and build a little logging camp here, because that is pretty far out of the way. You guys over here... I'm actually just wondering about throwing in some more food collection, but... Hey, you can just help log this. It'll be a little bit more efficient. And here, you are definitely going to build a little mining center. Tax. Oh, over there! It must still be coming through that bridge. Still, I'm hoping we can do another push through here fairly soon. Still food limited, but I guess that's okay. 
Yeah, just get us in a little bit of gold. That's coming up. Where are these guys going? Look at that, see? I wonder if there's any way to do an engage on some of these guys without the rest. We got those outside. Yeah, they clearly have some more production centers back here. I'm not sure if it's viable for us to go and kill those, though. Okay, yeah, you're just going to move through here, and that's going to be okay. More archers. And you're going to work on that. Attention! Archers. Are they coming towards me? No, they're just moving around. I wonder if I can bait a little bit of movement out. That might just help us to have this be a little bit wider. Okay, Cavalry. Not that we have a lot of it. Let me get you back here. And then, yeah, overall, everyone's just moving forward. Oh, uh, some of you come here and resurrect William, please. And he can use his power to make us all go a little bit faster. Okay. Go. 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 William's been injured again. Seems to happen a lot. Done. He's back. I mean, our goal is to destroy this, but I don't think we can just YOLO it. Although we might be able to move in a little bit more, because our archers now might not be engaging what we want. Okay. Go. 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 Everyone's still moving forward. Yeah, actually, let's go and get rid of this gate. What we might do is push out and... No, no, we could probably just destroy the fort, but... I'm going to move all these rally points actually inside here now. There we go. Now our, our range units, our melee units, have some flexibility to engage a few more things while we plunk away at this. Although mostly everything is clear now. Yeah, we can probably just right-click the keep now. Take it down. Whew! All right. Well, that was uh, took a little bit longer than I'd uh, hoped for, but scenario complete. There you go. So this is a very early mission in the campaign. Obviously, it doesn't give access to everything. Um, campaign missions are inherently different from regular skirmish modes and how the multiplayer plays out. Uh, the balance, the emphasis of things is completely different. So this isn't necessarily the greatest example of what the competitive multiplayer is going to be like, but you can see right away, things are pretty nice in here. It definitely feels like Age of Empires. Um, there's great hotkeys to be able to select your buildings and your units very quickly, which I very much appreciate. Um, you know, the, the units seem to move in a relatively intelligent way when, you know, you actually give them intelligent commands, which I wasn't always doing here. Uh, I'm sure, I mean, I'm willing to bet people are going to speed run this thing in under 15 minutes within a couple of days and then keep knocking down the speed even more and more and more. But uh, there you go. So a uh, 48 minute run. Well, not all of that was actually in combat. Not necessarily the fastest way to do it, but there you go. Age of Empires 4. I'm sure there's going to be some more Age of Empires stuff coming to the channel after this. See you then. Bye-bye.